Welcome to video 121 in series 3, and now let's have our exploding objects give off some sound. So I'll make a new C sharp script, I'll call it destructible sound, and open that up. Okay, so private destructible master, destructible master public float explosion volume oops too many s's and i'll just give it a default value of 0.5 public audio clip exploding sound and i'll slot that in the uh, inspector i won't need a start and update method and down here I'll just say void play explosion sound. And I'll say if exploding sound uh, is not equal to null, then audio source dot play clip at point, and the clip is exploding sound. Uh, the position, transform.position, and the volume, explosion uh, volume. Okay, and set initial references. I'll say destructible master is get component destructible master. Okay, and on enable, I'll call set initial references and uh, destructible master dot event. Uh, destroy me plus equal uh, play explosion sound and also the uh, unsubscribe so I'll just save that and I reckon that looks all good so I'll go ahead and uh, just go to unity and attach it to the barrel so destructible sound. Now what's the sound? It's that one that I imported, so let me just lock that for a moment. In the detonator framework, it's just a placeholder sound. So I'll just put that in and uh, give it a try. Oh, and I'll just hit apply first. There we go. Unlock that. Okay, so it looks like I've got sound. Nice. And I guess the volume's a bit low as well for that one, so I might just put it, I might just bump it up to one. It's quite a, it's quiet relative to the uh, gun sound. So let me just try that again. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay. So all good, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.